Hi, I'm Eric Siegel and welcome to episode 56 of Eric's Trains. Alright, it is New Year's Eve 2015, December 31st, and I am on my way to Legacy Station in Lilburn, Georgia to pick up a bunch of trains that are waiting for me. It's going to be great to get back to the train store because I haven't been there since last month when I did a meet and greet on Black Friday right after Thanksgiving. A few days after the meet and greet, I went in for a fairly major surgical procedure on my neck. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a big scar here. Basically, what they did was the same procedure that they did to Peyton Manning a few years ago. The technical term for it is anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. And what they did is they went in through the front of my neck and they took out three discs from my cervical spine then fused four vertebrae together. So it was a pretty big procedure. Now, the reason I had the surgery was because I was having numbness and tingling in my arms and pain in my shoulders. And that was being caused by a couple of ruptured discs in my spine. So that problem has been fixed and now I'm just recovering from the surgery. The first couple weeks were pretty miserable. I couldn't do very much at all. Uh, especially in terms of the trains. I really couldn't do anything except go down into the train room and look at things. But now things are slowly getting back to, nor to normal. I'm able to shoot video. I'm able to run the trains and do a little bit of work on the layout. I can't do major work yet because it starts getting painful after a while. But things are getting back to normal. It'll be about three to six months before things are 100% back to normal. But I was, I was cleared to drive a couple weeks ago, which was great because I was getting cabin fever. And so now I'm really excited to be able to get back to the train store and pick up all these trains. There's a bunch of stuff waiting for me, as I said. Some of it is Lionel, and I believe some of it is MTH. Lionel has a tendency to ship a bunch of their stuff either right before or right after Christmas each year. And they did that this year. So there's a ton of stuff from Lionel waiting for me. I know that the New York Central Dreyfus Empire Express set is waiting for me. I think there's at least one or two ES44s waiting on me. And I think the MTH Big Boy is also there waiting on me. So that'll be a lot of fun to compare the MTH Big Boy to the Vision Line Big Boy. But anyway, we're about 15 minutes away. So as soon as we get there, we'll go inside and see what we got. All right, here we are. Here's Barrett. What? He works here at Legacy. And here is the big wagon full of stuff that just came in. Tons of stuff. Now, we're not going to be able to open all this today, but maybe we'll open one or two things. So, um, starting here, we've got the uh, the nickel plate PAAA set. And if you pick that up. I can't lift anything because of my surgery, so Barrett's doing the hard lifting. Then we got the uh, Florida East Coast ES44. I know a lot of you guys have asked me about that. Then we have the, the Empire Express set that I mentioned in the car. So there that is, we can leave that in there. We got another ES44. No, no, that's the B unit for the Nickel mm -hmm. Plate Road PA. Then we got a two pack for the Empire Express set. With the two add-on pack. And then we've got the, this is really cool. This is the painted unlettered legacy Mikado that I'm gonna letter for my own railroad. That should be really cool. Then we've got the MTH Big Boy right there. Now, I'm gonna show this to you, but we're not gonna take it out of the box. We've got one on the demo shelf over there. So we'll, um, so we'll run that one instead of taking this one out of the box. Then we've got some MTH Canadian National High Cube cars. And then finally, we've got a Kansas City Southern ES44. Pretty crazy. Oh, I forgot one car. This is the 115th anniversary box car that Lionel put out. So I got that too. All right, so as you can see, that's a mountain of stuff that just came in. And it's gonna take me a while just to get this stuff home, unboxed and on the layout. And then I'll have to film reviews for some of this stuff. I'm not going to review everything here, but most of it I will be doing a review for at some point in time. And then I've also got a couple things over here that I'm buying today. I didn't order these in advance. I'm just getting them. These are passengers. 
that I'm going to put in the Empire Express passenger cars because they don't come with passengers, although they do have LED lighting, which is nice. And then also, I'm buying the new DCS Wi-Fi interface unit. And we're going to demo this as well over on the demo shelf. Brian's going to show me a demonstration of that. All right, so here's the new MTH big boy. And uh, Barrett's going to start it up for us. There it goes. Now, I know a lot of you guys want me to compare this big boy to the Vision Line big boy. And I do want to do a video about that, but it's probably not going to be a fair comparison because the Vision Line big boy is way more expensive. But this one's pretty good from what I've seen so far. So the big news on this one, of course, is the smoking whistle. So uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. There it goes. <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty slick. Not bad. Of course, once I get my big boy home and unwrapped and everything, I will eventually film a review on it and I'll show you everything this engine has to offer, but looks pretty good from what I can see. All right, now we're going to run the big boy with the new DCS Wi-Fi app that Brian has loaded on his phone. So let's go ahead and start it up and see what it's all about. <laughs> Watch the whistle. So you pull that down. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Here's the bell. And then and how if, do you... If you want to go 10 miles an hour, you just tap on 10. Of course, we're at the end of the line here, so we're going to do it. Reverse. There you go. R and F. That's really cool. This one again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, so there's a little preview of the Wi-Fi. So to go fast, you just tap on there, right? All right, here's your additional functions. There's your rear electric coupler. We don't have a front one. There's your uh, labor, protocast. Here's your volume control down here. Do they have the soft keys on here or not? Yeah, they're right here. So oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Crossing signal. <laughs> That's a long one, huh? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. But see how everything's just laid out in a way that it's so easy to access, right? Yeah. Uh, no more soft keys, if you will. Okay, forward signal. Oops. Nope, we broke it. Uh, 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 uh. So now we want to go forward. We're going to go 10 miles an hour. <laughs> that was really cool. If you can see, but the whistle was a little, was a little pull, pull cord that they've got that you pull down. <laughs> That's cool. Now there's some other features too, like there's your engine volume, whistle volume. Oh, so you can change the volumes of everything on there mm -hmm. too. That's really cool. It looks pretty well thought out. It is. It's very intuitive, if you will, very user friendly. Even though the main MTH remote is very user friendly, this is more so because everything's spelled out for you. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Set maximum speed, direction lock. 
Smoke, low, medium, high, whistle. I have a whistle, okay. So maybe that's for the, oh, there's the whistle steam. Right. right there. We'll see what that does. So maybe it was turned off, huh? Let's go back and pull the whistle now. There it goes. Yeah, now it's doing the steam on the whistle. Cool. Well, we just figured out how to turn the whistle steam on. That's cool. But we didn't have to read the manual. Wasn't that great? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> and it really does a good job of throwing the smoke out, too. Very cool. Very cool. And let's wrap things up by doing the extended shutdown. So the only other engine I'm going to show you today is one that I'm going to take out of the box and that's the Florida East Coast ES44 because I've had a lot of you guys email me about this. So uh, I'm going to let Barrett do the honors and open it up. All right, nothing quite like that new box smell. Yeah, I was telling the guy from when I was at York, I was telling mm -hmm. the guy from uh, JT's Megastain. Oh, yeah, I said if you could capture the smell of a new train when it comes out of the box, you'd have something. <laughs> then you get guys like when they're putting up a used engine, so let's like drop a couple in. Yeah, yeah, that new plasticky styrofoam, kind of styrofoam yeah, yeah. smell. It's probably toxic, so it's probably, oh, yeah, probably a good thing they don't have a scent that smells like that. <laughs> All good things in life can kill you. Yeah, there it is. Pretty engine. Okay. All right, so there it is on the track, and Barrett's going to start it up for us. This is the dispatcher. Okay. Do you copy? Copy that, dispatcher. I read you. Over. Okay, start her up. Stand by for track orders. Understood. Let's get to work. Out. <laughs>
All right, I hope you enjoyed that visit to the train store. As you can see, a lot of stuff came in and it's gonna take me a while to get all that stuff unboxed and on the layout and to get review videos done. I would have liked to have unboxed some additional stuff at the store and put it on the demo track for you, but it just so happened that Legacy Station was really busy today and there were customers all over the place, so it just wasn't an ideal day to be spending a bunch of time unboxing stuff and demoing it. But I will be doing review videos for most of the stuff you saw, but not all of it. I will most likely not be reviewing the new ES44s because I already reviewed that exact same model not too long ago, and these are exactly the same, just a different paint scheme, so there's no point in reviewing them. And also, I won't be reviewing the unlettered Mikado because, again, I reviewed the Pilot Mikado not too long ago, and it's exactly the same. But I will be doing a review on the Nickel Plate Road set. That'll be fun. That's a beautiful set. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get some matching Nickel Plate Road passenger cars at some point, either MTH or Lionel. And then, of course, I'll be reviewing the MTH Big Boy. That'll be a lot of fun. And best of all, I'll be reviewing the new Empire State Express set from Lionel. I'm really excited about that, not so much for the engine, although that'll be really nice, but for the passenger cars, because these are a big leap from Lionel. They've gone to the LED lighting, and not only LED lighting, but they've also got the capacitors in there so that the lights do not flicker at all when they run around the layout. It's awesome, and I'm really glad Lionel has finally stepped up to the plate and put LED lighting in their passenger cars. And then I'll also be doing a video when I put those little passenger figures in those cars. That'll be fun. And lastly, I'll be doing a demo video for the new MTH Wi-Fi module. That should be a lot of fun as well. So there's lots of videos coming up in the future. Keep your eye out for them. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.